What's going on everybody? This is Daxon here with Weaver Family Farm. So I'm making this video, um, not necessarily a fun video like normal, uh, but hopefully it'll help someone else out and maybe my future self know, um, you know, kind of how I fix the problem and hopefully this does. <clears throat> this is Massey. She's one of our boar goats and she has, uh, we have high reason to believe she has a, you know, pretty high worm load. Her tongue's pretty pale and as well as her eyelids. Um, her and our other four ghosts that are over there um, were actually just uh, dewormed about 40 or 45 days ago because I mark it on the calendar and we use uh, ivermectin or ivermec. There's a few different names for it. Um, at that time, she still does have a worm load and we used um, Panicure that you get in the tube. It's like, uh, uh, it, it's labeled for horses, but we use it on our dogs and it's always worked well and it's worked well on our ghosts in the past. However, um, we do try to use uh, different kinds of uh, deworming uh, medication, if you will, because um, worms can build resistance to them and it's just better to alternate. However, this is Massey here, like I said, and while she may look like she's simply ignoring me, she's not feeling well. She lays around most of the time in these 100 to 110 degree days we've been having here in Missouri lately definitely doesn't help. Right now clouds moved in and the temperature actually dropped like 30 degrees so that's helpful um, she still is drinking i have to keep i actually carry her over here to the water um, to make sure that she is drinking and she'll drink for me she eats but she eats very slow and she's just really being um, mopey and laying around um, now once again i said check the eyelids and they were pretty pale see if she'll let me do it right now Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty, there's a little bit of pink up in there. And I know on dogs you can check the tongue, so, um, and it's kind of one of those things hard to remember where you see, and she'll do that again, but her tongue's white as well. And my other goats, um, you know, they're pretty pink in color, so I don't know if that's just massy, and I've just never really realized that her tongue's white, but I would assume that it has to do with part of the worm load. Um, but what the vet gave us, since we've already used, um, the horse dewormer panicure that's like a paste that comes in a tube and we've already used ivermectin um what they gave us is a different kind of panicure or a different form or something and also i found out that whatever like it says on the bottle for a horse dose you actually have to multiply that dose by three for a goat and i believe that's due to their metabolism and things like that are quite a bit um faster with the goat correct me if i'm wrong in the comments anyone else watching um so they gave us that the correct dosage which for about her she's 50 60 pounds or so would be my guess so we did five cc for her so i assume you know it's about a cc per 10 pounds or uh anyway and then tomorrow they gave me a different kind and i'll have to look and see what it is but it comes in a packet and i'll go up to the garage in a minute I was just kind of sitting here with her for a minute seeing how she's acting but i'll get a little picture or video of that and show you what it is but i guess you mix it with a five gallon or a, a one gallon uh jug of water and i'm gonna try to do like a half gallon mix or something because we only have five goats um but it says one cc per goat i believe is what it said or maybe it's one cc for 10 pounds but either way if it makes a gallon and it was like 24.95 that's actually pretty cheap um yeah she's we had a goat actually back in like last November, December, a really cold period of the winter that we had lost. And once again, we believe this is barber pole uh, worms, which like 95% of the time is what makes them, you know, goats really lethargic. From what I understand, goats are almost always going to have some type of worm in them, but it's the barber pole worm, you know, or any worm, you know, on a high load. So it's really specific that we get um, deworming stuff that can handle barber pole worms so can't see she's a little thin and she started getting uh might just be too how she's standing um but this happened over you know the past five six days which seemed pretty quick really but we had that goat i was talking about last winter that um we lost and um she was fine and then just one day we went outside and you know it was a nice day like 75 or so degrees and everything and I couldn't find her and she was just like laying in the goat building you know on her side and um we tried all different types of things and stuff and I ended up having you know 
put her down because she was declining so fast and just miserable. It just shows you how fast these are because people, you know, say goats are tough and everything. Well, they are tough in a way and can act tough and everything, but they're actually somewhat weak. And um, from what I've read and things, boar goats are, I believe, one of the uh, worst goats to have when it comes to uh, worm loads and things like that. They're really, these boar goats are really bad about getting uh, worm loads and and there's a whole also different discussions talking about how some people are deworming every month with different kinds and then there's other people that'll say you know that'll build resistance and stuff so there's all different types of arguments going on and worms are going to build resistance to lots of kinds i guess barber pole worms are building a huge resistance to like all types of deworming uh medication anyway so that's one reason like you know they'll do three days and they'll do this worming one day a different um kind second day and a different kind the third day now they also gave me a shot of an antibiotic that I that was uh, injectable I gave her and I can't think what it was called. I can look on that list up there too if I don't forget when I show you the other stuff. Um, so I don't think there's too much else to say. Just kind of showing you what else there is. Um, I'm hoping I caught her early enough. Um, you know, I wasn't sus suspecting anything since we already done panic here not all that long ago and we done the ivermectin, you know, 40, 45 days ago, like I said. See, she's just standing here, and she can walk around, but she don't want to. Uh, she'll lay down. I kind of have to, like, nudge her, help her up, and stuff like that. You know, just really tired acting and everything. But I'm going to go up to the garage and check out that other stuff I was talking about. And I also talked to the vet about um, doing, like, iron um, pills. Like, you can just get at Walmart, you know, that, like, humans can take for uh, to iron vitamins, basically. And he said it's probably too late to actually do that. You know, at this point, she's either going to um, pull through or she's not. Uh, I have really high hopes that she's going to, that I caught her early enough. Um, but we'll see. Uh, you know, I'm praying to the good Lord about that. And uh, get my gate closed here. But anyway, I ha did start today giving her two of the vitamins a day of the of the iron um vitamin pills and she actually chewed them up and they look like tylenol so i'm sure they don't taste good but um i don't know it's almost like she knew knows that she needs them but he said it'll normally take two or three weeks for those to actually you know build the red blood cell count back up you know so by that time she'd probably either be better or not but i figured it doesn't hurt especially as how cheap they are but I'm gonna get up to the garage and be back with you. All right, so I'm in the garage now. The other uh, medication I couldn't think of is called Prohibit. There's some other names for it. Um, you mix this with a gallon. It'll talk about, you know, if you're, whatever you're treating, you know, goats or whatever is 200 pounds a piece, for example, that's a big goat. It'd do 64 heads. So I mean, $24, it's not bad. I'm sure there's cheaper options, but I want something good that'll take care of um, barber pole worms right there i believe that's uh pronounced harmonis contortis i think is what barber pole worm scientific name is i'll also get a nice little video of the sheet here and you can pause it as i move across it so you can see the different kinds this is what they gave me it's kind of at the vet and it's nice to have because there's so much information online and i believe the vet i went to you know has really good reliable information talks about like Ivamec and the dosage and you know what it treats and things like that uh, which we've done that before it's actually injectable but for goats you give orally I believe sheep are the same way there's Valbazin which I'm told that's really good um, I think you drench that's a drench um, kind but I'm not sure but it does stomach worms as well there's safeguard panic here we've already done that it does say it's for stomach worms as well and we're down here to the Tramazol, Levisol, and Prohibit, which is what we're going to be doing tomorrow. And there's Sidectin pour on and some other things. But yeah, you can pause the video, like I said, if you want to write any of this down. But the biggest thing is keeping your goats dewormed. Don't overdo it, but uh, keep them dewormed and, you know, get a good, you know, kind of routine going with it. You know, checking their eyelids and just really paying attention to how they act because um, once they start acting funny, you know, they'll start going downhill fast. But hopefully this video helps you guys. And I hope uh, Miss Massey will pull through. She was our first goat we got, and she's just about two and a half, three years old. So 
Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.